Hey, hey, welcome back to Our Hungry Adventures and welcome to the last episode of Northern Thailand series. Today we begin exploring the most eastern province of Northern Thailand called Nan province and here is what we're gonna do in this episode. Today we will be riding along the most beautiful roads in the country, enjoying the amazing cuisine of Northern Thailand and getting to know local culture. We also will be visiting ancient landmarks of this region, hunting for amazing sunset and even we'll try some local stuff, which doesn't taste like sugar at all. And we begin this journey in the mountainous area of Nan province called Bok Lia. This district is located in about 750 kilometers away from Bangkok. It borders with Laos in the east. This is a stunningly beautiful mountainous area with really fantastic landscape. However, there is another reason why I have decided to come here. Let me show it to you. Hundred years ago, people found a source of water with really high salt concentration here in Bok Lea. Here is the salt well. And they've begun to harvest the salt out of the water. But what is the most interesting about it, the most fascinating for me, is the method that they use. Local people build this equipment system made of three poles, bamboo trunk, rope and a bucket. They lower the lever to get water in the bucket. Then pull it up, pour water in this wooden log, which is the reservoir. And then water is running down to this area where the ovens are located. So water is running here in these basins and people use these buckets to put water in these huge pans, which stand on a huge oven. People pour water in these basins and then wait for 5-6 hours till water evaporates and crystals of pure salt being formed. You can see right here the process of separation of salt crystals and water. Water on top and salt at the bottom. So after 5 or 6 hours they collect the salt and put it in these baskets. Remaining water is leaking down back in the basin, back in the pan. And then they place all the salt in this warehouse. It looks like a snow. <laughs> Dear Thai people, if you ever wanted to see snow, come to Bok Lea in Nan province. You see, just like a snowball. And they actually allow you to try this salt. Really pure Colombian salt. Oh, so much energy. <laughs> it's better than coffee. <laughs> very salty. It is very salty. It is salt. It's supposed to be salty, of course. <laughs> All right. Where is tequila and limes? We need to make this day really amazing. We need tequila and limes. And they always have to maintain the temperature 24 hours a day because the heat can be too high, the heat can be too low, otherwise the process will be failed. They got to be medium, <clears throat> medium fire to form these crystals of salt in these basins. And they sell this salt right here. The freshest Colombian salt, 20 baht one kilogram. However, it uh, I need my iodine, tell me, cap my iodine. Ah, this is iodine, tell me, cap. Ah, I need that, cap. Yipa, how about iodine? And I need kin. Ah, ah, this uh, 
larger crystals of of salt. Ah, wow, it's like flakes, salt flakes, salt flake city. Herbal food salt. Ani some rap spa, right? Oh. Ani how much? Thirty-five, thirty-five. Thirty-five baht. Ah, really? Thirty-five. This is two hundred fifty, two big. Uh huh. This is four hundred. This is sabu, right? Yeah. Sabu with gel, right? Oh. Sabu, how much? This is ninety-five. This is ninety baht. This is sixty baht. อ่านี่ธนาคารนงข้าวสมุทรไทยนงข้าวน้ำผึ้งขมิ้นแล้วก็กาแฟกาแฟกาแฟกินได้ไหมเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอา
because every province in Northern Thailand they cook dishes a bit differently. But it's always tasty. There are actually two wells with salt water. Another one is bigger, it attracts more visitors, more tourists, which is why I've chosen the smaller one. But we still can take a look at it. เอาอเมริกาโนเย็นได้ไหมครับใส่เกลือไหมคะใส่เกลือไหมอะไรนะครับใส่เกลือไหมซอสอร่อยไหมลองดูโอเคลองกินลองกินได้กาแฟด้วยซอสเบอร์เรนยูเชียลซัมเพนเบอร์เรนเบอร์เรนดิเฟเรนต์อน่าสงสัยอร่อยไหมไม่รู้อ่ะเพราะว่าไม่คิดคิดไม่รู้อ่ะ Interesting, very interesting. ขอบคุณมากครับ And these are the buffaloes that in the old times have been used for transporting for the distribution of the salt. Now we've got cars and motorbikes. There are quite many resorts and guest houses here in Boclea. Most of them are located along the river. There are luxurious ones where you need to pay two, three, four, five thousand baht a day. And there are more simple, more basic types of accommodation. I've chosen this place to stay. It is called Ban Nong Ma Phuong Homestay. One night here costs 590 baht and the room looks pretty nice to be honest. There are two wooden houses here and each house consists of two rooms. So here is what we get for 590 baht. Nice bed, which is soft and comfortable. Nice windows, which protect you from cold air. Air conditioning, which you can use in the daytime. TV, fridge, kettle. And it was very quiet at night. However, if you will be coming on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, it's better to book your homestay or your resort, any other place in advance, because Boclea district has become quite popular. In fact, Nan province is becoming more and more popular with every year. Which is why, if you will be visiting these areas on weekends, just book your hotel, book your stay in one or two days. Feels pretty excited to be honest, because I can't remember when was the last time when we were exploring a night market. However, today we can do it again right here in the city center of Nan, among these stunning, ancient, beautiful temples which are 100 years old. There is a walking street from Friday to Sunday, which begins around 4 p.m. And something tells me we can find something interesting here. I've got a feeling. And I just can't wait to begin destroying all of the local street foods, delicious street foods, in the volcano of my stomach. <laughs> ก
but before we have begun our street food hunt, we need to visit the most legendary temple in the entire Nan province. It is called Wat Pumin. I think it is not closed yet and we are lucky because in the daytime this area is just filled with people. It is so crowded in the daytime. However, now I think we can get a clear shot of the most famous mural in the entire province or maybe even in Thailand. So the temple itself was built around 400 years ago. But what makes it so special is the murals inside of this temple, especially the one called Whisper of Love. It is a depiction of a man whispering to the ear of a woman. And according to local traditions, old traditions, men must have tattoos. And also there are red tattoos of human figures, uh, which shows his prestige and social power, his social status because the more human figures tattoos he has, it means the more rich he is, the more servants he has. And this iconic painting, The Whisper of Love, has become the symbol of Nan City. And we can find this symbol literally everywhere, in hotels, in restaurants, on bus stations. There are t-shirts with this symbol, there are different accessories and souvenirs with this symbol. So let's take a walk and find something with this symbol, maybe even buy something for good memories about this place. Wow, really magical place. Even though the temple is not that big itself, it attracts really many visitors and many tourists around the entire country. Time to have? Time to have? Very good. Very good. Okay, my hunger, my hunger is calling. Volcano is awakening. <laughs> Not easy to do everything with one hand. Mm, excellent herbal aftertaste. Very tasty. I don't know. I really hope you can hear me because the music is pretty loud. But this is the thing about night markets, about walking streets. You are not allowed to enjoy the silence. <laughs> or a conversation with someone. You have to increase the volume of your voice all the time. But the food is tasty though, come on, just chill. Okay, this is something interesting and some, something unknown for me. It looks like kanom babin, looks like kanom croc, but I don't know. I need kanom alai, sir. Do you like Kanom babin. Kanom babin, lah. Oh, thing, lah. My moon kanom babin. Wow, that's a lot of coconut. I had to wait for a while, maybe 10, maybe 15 minutes, because today is Saturday and there are quite many people around and everyone knows that this kanomba bean is very tasty. I've never seen kanomba bean like this way, because it looks like a burger, coconut burger. Uh, two burgers cost 50 baht. And we need to find a place where we can try this coconut burger. Mm. Coconut explosion in my mouth. 
Amazing, let's taste it. One more. Mm, wow. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Chicken fly. Chicken can fly. I need tamtini do it. Come on, come. Oh, looks very juicy. ประเทศกรุงเทพใช่ประเทศกรุงเทพมาคณะค้นครับโอ้ the smell is amazing ว้าวอร่อยอร่อยนิ่มนิ่มอร่อยเอาเอาเอาครึ่งได้ไหมครับอันชิมนี่ครึ่งได้ไหมครับหรืออันนี้อะไรอร่อยอร่อยกว่าโอเคอันนี้ก็ได้ครับโอเคโอเคโอเคก็ได้จ้องอะไรจ้องมิกกี้สตอชมี YouTube มี TikTok ด้วยครับมีมือถือไหมครับมือถือมือมีไหมอันนี้ครับครับ Subscribe ไหมโอเคสุดยอดโอเคขอบคุณมากครับขอบคุณครับ Buy pork instead of chicken Who are you man Who are you <laughs> but it was really tasty, and I got some more okay. for a hundred baht. You know what I find the most pleasant moment here? Because this is the walking street, people are supposed to walk and eat. There are not that many tables around. So remove the mask so you actually can see the faces of people, because in Thailand people still, like 80% of people are still wearing masks. In Bangkok, almost everyone. In North, not that much, maybe 50% of the people. Oh, in such places where there is a lot of food, <laughs> food wins. People get rid of these masks and they walk, they drink, they eat, they smile. And it's, it's a pure happiness to see faces of people after two years in masks. And again, this symbol on t-shirts Tik tok, tik tok, tik tok, tik tok, tik tok, tok ti, tik tok, tik tok. Kontai, may may day do YouTube, do tik tok. Pai ma le, kap. Pudi kap, ching kap. Pi kap, ah, suit ni, suit suit sifa, ani style nan, cai mai? Cai, cai mai. Ata mai tuk tuk ti mi sifa. Oh, handmade. Handmade. Yes. All top. Uh huh. All top. Ah, natural. Ah, yes, sir. Like tok mai, lor. Tok. Tok mai. Tok. But wa sak lao, hot lao, si tok lep loi. Ah. Color, color, chai, chai, color. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, no, no. Ah, flower. Flower. Uh huh. Ah. How do you call it? Dog ham. Dog ham. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ham. นี่เลยนี่น้ำยาย้อมน้ำยาย้อมก็ใช้แล้วก็ใช้แล้วใช่ครับอันนี้มีที่เชียงวัดนั่นเหรอนั่นแพ่เชียงใหม่เชียงรายลำพูนมีหมดสวยโอ้สวยนะโอ้ขอบคุณครับอันนี้สำหรับผู้ใช่ไหมใช่สำหรับยูแล้วแหละแต่อันนี้อันนี้อันนี้ไซเล็ก Small, medium, large, egg large. 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 Uh-huh. Can sun, can yao. 
ยาวยาวก็ได้โอเคอยู่เวทเอลเอลตัวเอ็กเอลจริงเหรอเยสเพราะอยู่บาลานเพราะว่าคินใส่ใส่อัวเยอะๆต้องต้องใส่ XXL ใช่ไหมใส่ใส่อะไรเบียร์โอเคโอเคอืมชอบชอบไหมอืมเอาใหญ่กว่านี้ไหมมีใหญ่กว่านี้อีกนะไม่ไม่ไม่ไม่เอาไม่เอาอันอันอันนี้อันนี้ดีอันนี้สอง XL XXL no no US จะเป็นไทยแลนด์อ่าสอง XL ไทยแลนด์อือฮึโอเค good deal sale โอเค now I look like a good man from Nan อันนี้ yes โอเคพี่นันอยู่ที่ไหน The market is divided in two parts. Actually, the walking street. This part near the temple, near what Pu Min has food, accessories, and clothes, and there is another part with food only. And I've noticed that this temple is open, and people walk in and out. I've never been inside, and even though it is 8:30, it is still open, which is quite amazing for a beautiful ancient temple. Usually, they are closed around 5 or 6 p.m. So let's walk inside. For today, well, there is no plan. This is the last day in Nan Province, and I just want to get away from the city because in the city it's simply unbearably hot in the daytime. So I just want to ride to the mountains, find a beautiful road, a coffee shop, and at the end of the day. Find a great spot to enjoy the sunset because sunset in Nan Province are really beautiful. This is definitely not not how I picture this day in my head. I thought, okay, I'm gonna choose a longer route, which is probably gonna be without cars, without bikes, without tourists. And actually, there are no cars, there are no bikes, no coffee shops, no restaurants, no anything at all. Just just a few houses along the road, along the road. I wonder why, but it's too late to turn around and drive back. Oh. oh man, you wanted some adventures, you got it.
my god, Harmac. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, two lane road. Very hard. Welcome to Dursa Merdal, probably one of the most popular places for camping in Nan province. Looks really beautiful. And this sunset. Our final destination, guys. Our last stop in this Northern Thai journey. The trip is over. The trip to Northern Thailand. And I want to thank you for being a part of this journey. It was a really exciting adventure. And actually, what is the recipe of adventure? Long motorbike rides, beautiful roads, bad roads, meeting cute and friendly people on the way, meeting and knowing nationalities you've never heard before, wearing some traditional outfits, enjoying fantastic delicious foods, finding something unique, something really special, witnessing sunrise over the mountains on the border between the countries and here at the sunset. Yeah, real adventure. Thank you for being a part of this journey. If you want to support this channel, you can join me on Patreon. There are some updates from the trips or some plans. Uh, Patreon is another platform or you can become a member of this channel. Always welcome. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next video pretty soon. I don't know when, I don't know where, but I'll be back. Do 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 do. Bye bye.